Um, we had a maiden flight to to Jeddah. Uh, we've taken our brothers and sisters to Mecca. It's the first time in 40 years, so it's a very historic um, time for us as a country and as an airline. Um, we we took 200 passengers. There was a challenge with their visas coming out on time. And then tomorrow we will be taking another uh, 250. I want to set the record straight that hundreds of Uganda pilgrims who were scheduled to travel today have not actually traveled. The alleged Uganda airline flight almost went empty. Hundreds of Uganda pilgrims remain stranded at Entebbe and some along the roads. They had not secured Haji visas and could not travel. Around 150 scheduled passengers, around 150 scheduled, scheduled passengers or pilgrims who are supposed to travel by Uganda airline were left stranded and left behind. Those you saw at Entebbe where the officers allegedly paraded to flag off, they were allowed even entry to the airline, but those are not the pilgrims. Another category of the stranded pilgrims are those who had booked and other airline providers, and some had even chartered them, like Ethiopia Airlines. Several Hija offices are reporting losses, as several others, other chartered flights, have also indicated, including Uganda Airlines, that they cannot, the tickets cannot be rebooked. Specifically, as a shadow minister for foreign affairs, I've reached out to Uganda Embassy in Saudi Arabia, myself. I've also made physical interactions and meetings with the, with the, uh, with the Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs. They all confirm that there are delays in securing Haji visas for hundreds of Uganda Muslims, Muslim pilgrims who are scheduled to travel for Hija 2023. Unfortunately, Uganda Airline never networked well with the Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs to ascertain the appropriate time and date or schedules for scheduling such flights and travel. The Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs officials, however, briefed me that they are making efforts to finalize compliance with the Saudi Hija requirements so that the stranded Uganda pilgrims can secure Haji visas for 2023 and accordingly travel. We urgently demand that the government of Uganda, the Minister of Works and Transport, together with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, liaise with the Uganda Bureau of Haji Affairs, and take urgent steps to, to secure or alternative flights for the many stranded Uganda Haji pilgrims as soon as their visas are cleared. There was no essence in parading a flight when the passengers are travelers are not ready and are not there. There is urgency as well in negotiating with the Saudi authorities to simplify the Haji clearance for Uganda. I saw the ministers with the Saudi ambassador, they could not even labor to, to communicate that Saudi needs to assist Ugandan pilgrims to secure urgent clearances. Nothing was mentioned whatsoever at the alleged flag, flag off.